Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge browser extensions, as many of you will know who do use Edge, can be downloaded from the Edge add-ons store. And Edge extensions, uh, give or take, can bring greater functionality and better browser security and protection uh, during your browsing experience. Just to mention two examples. Now, you've heard me say this a couple of times previously on the channel, that Microsoft is giving the sidebar and the site panel quite a lot of attention in the desktop browser. And in regards now to extensions, um, Microsoft has recently announced a couple of days ago that developers now of third-party extensions can start to make their own sidebar extensions now for the desktop browser, which I thought was an interesting announcement. And Microsoft has mentioned from that announcement that the sidebar extensions need to have three additional functionalities that your so-called normal or regular extensions do not have. Now, the first of these three functionalities that the sidebar extensions need to have is that the default sidebar needs to display consistent content or extensions across all opened tabs. So basically, um, the extensions need to persist across all your different browsing sessions um, in the sidebar. And the second um, functionality that Microsoft mentioned is that the extensions need to open in the sidebar on a specific site. And this will be based on users' preferred websites. And then the third uh, functionality is that there needs to be a seamless, as Microsoft is calling it, transition to the main site panel when they navigate or users navigate to a different tab. So basically, when you navigate to a different tab, you need to have that seamless transition to the main site panel. And this, Microsoft says, will provide a so-called personalized touch. So switching to a different sidebar um, needs to be one of those different functionalities that always needs to be present. And that extension always needs to be present when you navigate to a different tab. Now, at this stage, um, Microsoft hasn't um, given us an exact time frame um, when these sidebar extensions will become available because obviously that was an announcement that was made just a couple of days ago. But obviously, I'll keep a close eye on this one. And if this does um, start rolling out and does become a reality, I will obviously post and let you guys know. And the whole reason for doing this, um, Microsoft basically says the whole reason for now I'm um, wanting to roll out sidebar extensions is that they will provide a great way, as Microsoft is calling it from that announcement, to bring the power of browser extensions alongside browsing. So um, sidebar extensions seem to be now on their way to the desktop browser. Now, with that out of the way, just on a side note, um, which is tied in very closely with Bing Chat, a couple of days ago, last week actually, I posted a video that um, Bing Chat Enterprise um, is something that Microsoft is going to start rolling out. And Bing Chat Enterprise, according to Microsoft, will be available in preview. Um, it's available now, actually, in preview at no extra cost for Microsoft 365 E3, E5, Business Standard and Business Premium users. And if you don't fall into those categories, then Bing Chat Enterprise will obviously be a paid subscription. Now, this got a couple of users a little bit concerned um, due to the fact that Microsoft will start charging now for Bing Chat Enterprise. And just to put your mind at peace, um, if you were a little bit concerned that the new Bing, um, which I have seen in some reports, some users were a little bit concerned about that the Bing, um, the so-called normal Bing for your home user will become a subscription service. This is not to be. And Microsoft has um, tweeted over on Twitter uh, two, do two days ago, actually, that, and I'm quoting, free and in brackets, forever, as far as we can see, for consumers. So basically, Microsoft has said over on Twitter that there is no concern that the new Bing for consumers will remain a free service. So I just wanted to throw that out there as there was a little bit of concern. But the big one here, as mentioned, that those sidebar extensions will now be rolling out and seem to be on the way, as Microsoft has mentioned in that announcement, where developers now can bring those sidebar extensions now, third-party sidebar extensions, to the desktop browser. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.